put it on the couch. Okay. Yeah, put, put it on the couch for me. Thank you. We'll sit right here. Open oh, yours. I got one. Woo. I got the biggest and heavy on. Oh. Dad. Yeah. What is it? Oh, I got skeleton mojo cards. Today we're at the Columbia Ridge Landfill, about 140 miles from Portland, out in the Columbia River Gorge. This is uh, Will Spears, former site manager. Will, can you tell me what we're going to actually see here in the train yard today? Well, right now you're seeing the train pull into the yard. This train is carrying waste from the city of Seattle. It uh, currently has 43 cars on it. We receive 68 trains a week from the Seattle area. Uh, these primarily have household waste on them. Uh, we receive approximately seven to 8,000 tons per day at this facility. It's as if we live under a kind of enchantment. In a hundred years from now, we won't be doing the things we're doing. We will have figured out way more interesting things to do than go shopping as our main activity. Unfortunately, I also know that we don't have 100 years to make that transition. We got to make it more quickly than it would happen naturally, or else we're going to derail the Earth's physical systems, especially its climate. What exactly is the Pacific Trash Vortex? It's a huge soup of trash twice the size of Texas that has a dubious honor of being the biggest landfill on the planet. 90% of this trash is plastic, 80% which originates on land, and the other 20% comes from seafaring vessels and uh, <clears throat> oil platforms. So who's responsible for this mess? Well, humans, especially those in the developed world, who are consuming, discarding and replacing mainly Chinese-made crap at an ever-accelerating rate. The US has 5% of the world's population but consumes 30% of the world's resources and creates 30% of the world's waste.